Hi guys, I want to do a video to walk you through the first problem on your homework and give you some examples of how to do closing entries so that hopefully it'll be easier for you to do them on your own. So I'm going to turn you to space my whiteboard and we'll start going through each of the steps for the closing entries. So for the very first one um, is closing the revenue accounts. This is our first step. So we're, um, it gives us in the problem, it says assume that at the end of the accounting period, their credit balance is $3,400 in patient services revenue and $1,800 in laboratory fees revenue. So to prepare this closing entry, because we want to decrease the revenue accounts, we're going to debit them. And it tells us that the accounting period ends December 31st. So that's going to be the date of our entry. And we're going to list our first revenue as our first debit. So it's going to be patient fees revenue. And it was $3,400. Oh, it looks like it's patient services. Let me fix that. So that's our first revenue. And then we have a second revenue in here. So we need to list that after as our second debit. And that's going to be laboratory fees revenue. And that was $1,800. So we're going to total these two up. And we're going to credit our income summary account. So both of our um, revenues equal $5,200, so that's what we're going to credit our income summary account for, and that closes our revenue account for us. I created an income summary T account over here so I could keep track of the balances of the revenues and expenses. So on the credit side or the far right side, I'm going to put $5,200, so I know that that stands for my revenues. So this takes care of Step number one, we've closed the revenue accounts by debiting the revenues, crediting the income summary. Next, we need to go on and close the expense accounts. So to do that, um, it breaks it down for us and it says that assume the debit balances at the end of the accounting period are 1,400 in rent expense, 1,100 in wages expense, and $500 in other expenses. So to close my expense accounts, I have to credit them. So I'm gonna debit my income summary. And the accounting period is still ending on December 31st, so that's gonna be my date for the entry. And I have to add these expenses up to know the total is gonna be debiting my income summary. Before I do that, I'm just gonna first list the credit. So I'm gonna list wages expense, and that was, 1,100, I have rent expense, that was 1,400, and then I had other expenses that were 500. It's important that you make sure you're listing each of the expenses out and not just lumping them into one account because they're each their own separate accounts that have to be zeroed out. So I add these together to know how much I'm going to debit my income summary. It's going to give me 3000 so that's what I'm going to put in the debit for my income summary. And that takes care of my second step. I've just closed my expense, my expense account. So I'm going to take this debit from the income summary and put it in the debit column in my T-chart. And I can see here that my revenues definitely exceed my expenses in this case. So I'm going to have a $2,200 credit balance in my income summary account. That means I have a net income for my business. And when I'm closing my income summary account, I'm going to have to debit it to, to bring it back to zero. So that is going to be my third step, closing my income summary. So I'm debiting the income summary because right now I have a credit balance and I need to bring that to zero. So I need to do the opposite of what the balance is right now to close it. So it's gonna be a debit of 2,200 and then I'm gonna close it to my P Meta Capital because that gives me the name of the owner in the problem and I'm gonna credit that for 2,200. So that's going to increase the owner's capital account for the owner but it's also going to zero out my income summary account. 
And then my last entry would be to close my withdrawals. So in the problem, it tells me that there was $800 worth of owner withdrawals for this accounting period. So to close my withdrawals, normally when I'm increasing my withdrawals, I am debiting them. But right now I wanna decrease them. So I'm gonna credit my withdrawals and I'm gonna debit my capital because I need to decrease my capital. So again, the date is December 31st because the end of the accounting period hasn't changed. So I'm gonna debit the P meta capital and it's gonna be for the amount of the withdrawals. So it's gonna be for $800 and then I'm gonna credit P meta withdrawals. And you have to be careful not to mix P meta capital and P meta withdrawals up because otherwise that will make your entry incorrect. So once I do that, that finishes my fourth step and my withdrawals account is now closed. So just kind of to review, you start with your revenues. It's okay if you have more than one revenue, it may happen. You're debiting both of those to decrease them and bring those accounts to zero. You're crediting your income summary. Your second step, you're closing your expense accounts. So you're debiting your income summary, crediting all, all of your expenses. There may be three, there may be two, there may be six. It really just, just depends. Um, your third step, you're closing your income summary account to the owner's capital. And then fourth, you're closing the withdrawals to the owner's capital as well. And that takes care of all of your closing entries. So once you've completed all four steps, you're good and you're ready to move on to the next set of entries.